This is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. All right, let's go to Ezekiel, chapter 4. Uh, the first question says, eating defiled, are we forbidden to get defiled foods? Okay. All right, good question, good question. Give me Leviticus real quick, 11 and 45. Yeah, I think that's a little more. All right, after this, I'm going to give y'all some time to go over what y'all was going to go over. All right, Leviticus 11, 44. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11, and verse 44. Come on. For I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourselves, and ye shall be holy, for I am holy. Neither shall ye defile yourselves with any manner of creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. All right, so that's the law. The, <coughs> so, yes, we are forbidden to eat defiled foods yes we are okay um now let's go to ezekiel 4 and 13 actually give me deuteronomy 28 and 15 real quick deuteronomy 28 and 15 <coughs> deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15 come on but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So my question, brothers and sisters, have these curses come upon us and overtaken us? Absolutely. Jump to verse 48. Verse 48. Come on. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. We shall be in our own land. We shall serve, thou, serve thine enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger, uh -huh. and in thirst, Read. and in nakedness, and in want of all things. How many things? And of all things. And all things. And it said what? Hunger and thirst, right? Now, go to Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 13. Ezekiel chapter 4 and verse 13. Come on. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel Eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles. Among who? Among the Gentiles. Who can explain that? <coughs> um, Stefan. Shalom, leadership. Shalom. Uh, going back to Deuteronomy with the curses and also verse 45 where it says he was, uh, we were going to serve our enemy and want of all things. We're captive in their land. Uh, they don't really, well, they don't follow our laws. So we're forced to really eat what they give or how they kill it or how they have it we're forced to eat that type of stuff exactly exactly all right read it again ezekiel 4 and verse 13 and the lord said even thus shall the children of israel eat their defiled bread among the gentiles whether i will drive them who did it whether i will drive them right the most high god did it that's a plague on us now um I know where this question's going, of course. No, I'm not telling anybody to knowingly eat swine or insects or anything like that. Of course not, because that's against the law. 
But if you get chicken and they did something to your chicken and you didn't know, you know. It's, it is what it is. Because chicken is what? Lawful. Who agrees with that? <sighs> These brothers and sisters out here saying chicken ain't lawful. Hell is this. If they did something to your steak and you didn't know, hey, it is what it is. That's why we got to pray. That's why we got to pray over those things. All right. It says seedless foods. Are we not to eat seedless fruit? Um, I e grapes, etc. That's there's no precept for that. Um, this is how we're gonna do this. In regards to eat Cain's curse, give me that. Yeah, we'll do this. You see? Yeah, I found it. Give me Genesis, the curse of Cain. Give me that one. We'll handle it like this. Uh, till uh, what did it say? Tilling of the ground. You know what I'm talking about. Um, wherever he goes. Give me Genesis chapter 4 and verse 9. All right? We're going to read down. All right, so it says seedless foods. Are we not to eat seedless fruit? All right. Remember we're in the land of who? Our enemies, right? Now, I'm not going to teach this class today, but Bishop taught it. Captain Isaac touched it. That same spirit of Cain is Esau today. Make sure you go on YouTube, go over those precepts. But I'm going to just fast forward and get to the point. Give me verse 9. Genesis chapter 4 and verse 9. Come on. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy, bro <clears throat> thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Right. So what just happened? Cain just killed Abel, his brother. All right. Watch this. And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. Uh-huh. And now, and now art thou cursed from the earth. All right. So because... He murdered his brother um, intentionally. Now the curse is upon Cain. Read. Which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. Read. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. Right. That's why we have GMOs here in the United States of America. Because of this curse right here. Because why do we have all of these imported fruits from the islands from all these different countries because America can't grow it because of the curse of Cain. Who understands that? Uh, Ricardo, you don't get it. A little bit. You'll get it. We'll read it again for you. Verse 9. No, verse 12. Verse 12. When thou tillest the ground. What is that tilling going into? Who could break that down for us make it plain? Uh, let me hear yeah, the country boy right here, Simon. Let me hear you, Simon. He He's going to break it down. I know he's, he's going to break it down. Uh, uh, so it says um, going into uh, tilling the ground. So that's um, pretty much when you are uh, uh, cultivating the soil, uh, turning it over. Um, you know what I'm saying? All right, so it's pretty much when you turn the soil over um, from, you know what I'm saying, the top layer. You want to mix the top layer with the different layers that's underneath it because that's where all the nutrients is at, is in, you know, up under the, the, the layer, the first layer. All right. <laughs> I don't know what the last part said, but I was with you. I was with you on that. It's going into what? Farming. Yes, sir. Going into farming. Exact. Good job, uh, Brother Simon. Read verse 12 again. Verse 12. Come on. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. Her strength will be what? Uh, Stephan. Uh, the growing of the fruits. And the the crops. crops. Exactly. It says when Cain does his farming, no. It's not going to yield forth her fruit or her strength, which is going into the crops. All right. That's why there's those GMOs out there. Hey, there's no law in the scriptures. Because keep in mind, we read Genesis 4 and 12 and we read Deuteronomy 28 and 48 and Ezekiel 4 and 13 showing you why the reason why we eat these things is not because of Cain or Esau who's it because of because of our sins and we can't do nothing to go against what God's hand is pushing remember who put us in captivity oh these guys nobody sisters who put us in captivity 
The Most High put us in captivity. And, hey, there's nothing wrong with being a vegetarian or a vegan. Just don't make a doctrine out of it. Because you, it cannot be backed up with the Bible. Because all we got to, all the brothers and sisters got to do is go to where? Deuteronomy 14 and Leviticus 11. We don't want to add to the scriptures. Who, who got that for me? Give me that Proverbs 30 and 6. <clears throat> There's no precept to say that you cannot eat a grape that does not have a seed in it. It's not a precept. It's not in the Bible. It's not there. So we can't add to the scriptures. We can only deal with what's in the Bible. And what? When you go to the grocery store, if that's, uh, we're going, oh, yeah. After you read that, I'm going to go over some more precepts about your, um, for conscious sake. For conscious sake. Yeah. Find me that. Somebody find me for conscious sake. But read uh, Proverbs 30 and 6 real quick. The book of Proverbs, chapter 30 and verse 6. Come on. Add thou not unto his words, uh -huh. lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. Right. So, yeah, in the nation of Israel, we got brothers and sisters that eat meat. We got some that don't eat meat. All right. Um, Give me that in Sirach real quick. <clears throat> Y'all know what I want about the dainties, all that good stuff. Is that uh, Sirach 31 and verse 16. Watch this. This is Sirach. I want Sirach 31, 12, and then verse 16. All right. Now, is it telling you to just be a carnivore and go crazy? Absolutely not. I ain't going to lie. I don't recommend red meat often. Like, say if we have tacos in my house, I tell my wife to get turkey burgers. I mean, yeah, the turkey ground meat. You know what I'm talking about. Beef messes me up, so I don't eat a lot of red meat until tabernacles when I just, you know, I do my thing. All right? But uh, read this. Sirach, chapter 31 and verse 12. If thou sit at a bountiful table, be not greedy upon it, and say not, there is much meat on it. Right. Don't be greedy upon your meats, all right? The scriptures say, hey, don't do that. Now jump down to verse 16. Verse 16. Come on. Eat as it becometh a man. Eat as it becometh a man. A little is sufficient for thee, all right? So it's not that you just get on there and just stack the meats. No, you ain't got to do all that. It says, eat as becometh the man. Read. Which are set before thee, and devour not, lest thou be hated. Right. It says don't devour lest you be hated. All right. If you come and you put the chicken, uh, the bowl of the what the plate of chicken right there to six people and it's 12 pieces of chicken, but you end up with five of them. Don't do that. It's telling you not to do that thing. I call it something else. Right. You have it. <coughs> yeah. First Corinthians 10, 25. OK. And then we're going to go. The reason why I said a joke to sis, I said you repent it, but I had to clear that up. Because, I'm going to show you something. Read it. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 25. Come on. Whatsoever is sold in the shambles, that eat. Asking no question for conscious sake. For conscious sake. So, it says whatever is thrown in the shambles. So, let's just say we all went out to eat, right? And I ordered some stir fry. Mine had chicken in it. And then he ordered vegetarian stir fry with no meat in it. But we know the restaurant serves to foul foods. Read it again. Whatsoever is sold in the shambles, that eat. It says, hey, whatever's cooked, eat, read. Asking no questions. Do what? Asking no questions. Come on. For conscious sake. For conscious sake. Because what do you think that's going to do? Can somebody explain the scripture for us? Uh, let me hear and tell us. Um, it says, um, what, whatever's put in in front of you, um, eating, don't ask no question for conscience sake. Um, if you start questioning everything you eat about time, every time you go out to a different restaurant, um, after a while, you probably ain't going to be eating nothing. You could probably going to starve yourself. Yes, and I got to drop the bombshell, literally. Yes, sir. A lot of your vegetables, even with seeds in it, guess what's in the soil? Swine dung. So, Ezekiel 4 and 13. Read it again. I mean, I get it, 
But I also understand what the Bible says. You understand? That's how we got to think. Don't be the, oh, I'm super righteous. It's like, bro, you do know that that apple was grown in some swine dung, right? It's like, uh, what are you going to say then? You got to think about these things. Read what you got. Ezekiel chapter 4 verse 13. Come on. And the Lord said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles. Y'all know that's a prophecy, right? Give me that in uh, Isaiah 46 and 10. And then what's that other one I like? That bit? Oh, 34 and 16. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. Come on. Declaring the end from the beginning. Uh-huh. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Right. In ancient times. Hey, how do we know? Romans 15 and 4 says, for whatsoever was written aforetime was written for our what? Our learning. Meaning what? If our forefathers went through it, what are we going to have to go through? The same thing. The Bible just told us that's what our forefathers are going to have to do. And that's what happened. All right? All right. Y'all got anything on that? You have something? Yeah, go ahead. Shalom, leadership. Shalom. So I did have a question regarding that thing. Because you know how a lot of times when we buy foods, we get wrapped up in the ingredients? Is that one that we read in uh, 1 Corinthians kind of a preset for that? Because if you go through the ingredients, it, pretty much all anything that you eat is going to have is going to be defiled. There you go. It's very true. Now, would everything have wisdom? If it says gelatin, right? don't eat it. It's Why? Got, it's got pork. That's obvious. You feel what I'm saying? If it has blood in it, don't eat anything with blood in it. What we do, we keep our, the commandments the best way we can, just like our forefathers did, until who comes? Christ, Christ comes. Right now, we're keeping it to the best of our abilities. Like, for example, some, some socks that you buy, you can't even find 100%. You understand? Some say like 98 point. Y'all you you know what I'm talking about. Or say like a pair of sweatpants. As women's clothes especially. Like in the bands, like elastic. But sometimes, hey, that's all there is. Now, if the spirit is on you that you want to create your own textile company, hey, let the force be with you. All praises. But for the most part, we don't have the ability to do that. Why? Because we're living under the hands of our enemies. And I pray you understand that. We ain't ever going to tell you to break the law. We say keep the law to the best of your abilities. But remember, the scripture says, add not. Y'all with me? All right. All right. I just want to make sure. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.